up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. Time for baseball on MLB Network from Citizens Bank Park in the city of brotherly love. Tonight it's the first of four between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Jeremy Hellickson will be on the mound for the series opener. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, the last three outings, he's allowed a lot of base runners, and all you got to do is look at his whip. It's over 1-4. When you have that, you're going to have a tough outing. He's got to get that number down and keep the traffic off the bases. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, rough. And he makes the throw to first. Reyes is retired, and there's one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Everybody knows this is a hitter's ballpark. You hit a ball in the air, it's going to carry. You hit a ball on the ground, it's going to get through. But the key to hitter's ballpark, you don't try to do too much. You know the pitcher's going to nibble. And you don't have to touch it. Just reach out and put it in play, and the ball can carry. So contact is the key to hitting in a hitter's ballpark. Now here it comes. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose. Pitch. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. And he is in there safely with their first hit so far, a one-out double. Man, that's always tough. He was a strike away from striking out two in a row, but he got a little careless and caught too much of the plate there. It gets ripped for a one-out extra base hit, and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. Stepping up now, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, what a stop! Ah, no chance to complete the play, though. Runners will be at the corners. Well, I love it when guys leave their feet, and they leave their feet for a purpose. He stops the ball. Now, I know he didn't get the runner at first base, but he may have saved a run right there. Love the effort. Here's Juana Cespedes. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes in the dirt and block behind the plate so he'll keep those runners where they are but the count moves to three and one ready on three and one here it comes there's a knee high pitch that catches the zone with two strikes now and a runner at first do you go for the strikeout are you still looking for the double play ball well Matt I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are if you're a power pitcher you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker I think you have to stick with that plan Kendrick 
is there and that should be deep enough to score the run. Now a throw to first doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit and run. It's the Mets zero Phillies coming to bat. You're watching MLB Network. Robert Gesellman gets the ball for the Mets in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. That's basically giving up a run and inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Standing in, Cesar Hernandez. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, this team has to be hoping that Michael Franco can get some of his mojo back. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. Into the box now, Mike Franco, And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. One out, nobody on. A swing, and it's popped in the air back behind first. Rivera takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Batting third, center fielder. Now batting, Odubel Herrera. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. Hold high in the air out to right field. Cespedes is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. In is Curtis Granderson. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Batting six. Second baseman. Here's Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. A runner at first with no outs here. And there he goes towards second. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 2-2. He's running again. Grounded to short. And Walker will reach. It's a base hit. And the throw will come in quickly from center. So despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. Well, the hit and run was on right there. And the runner running to second base on the steal. I thought he might go to third base. The ball ended up in the outfield. I guess he didn't feel comfortable. That's why he pulled up. Stepping in now, Travis Garneau. Count is Fastball one. not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. These Phillies Harold as they enter play here tonight they come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah Matt it's been disappointing. I mean here we are in the dog days of August and this shows your colors right now. I mean there's been a lot of bickering and complaining but because they've been playing poorly and it's hot and they're all irritable. Uh, it's not a fun club to be around. And he lays off again ball three. set here's the 3 1 and I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out 
Wow, well, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this is in the dirt here as it bounds a few feet away. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, though that first run of the ball game is across to score. A hey, bases loaded. Nine Last nine. thing you want to do is Petra. ground into Robert a double play, and Stoneman. that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. All right. Right down here. Into the box, Robert Gesellman. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mets one, and the Phillies nothing. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Ready to deliver the one and two. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Digging in, Michael Saunders hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Here's the pitch. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Eighth home run on the season for him, and it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. They tried to sneak a fastball by him, and like they always say, you can't sneak the cheese by the rat, particularly if it's up high like that one right there. Here's Howie Kendrick, and as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Now here's the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Granderson is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Standing, seven. Standing in, Andres Blanco. He enters play, hitting down in the 240s for the year. Two out, nobody on. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The next 0 2. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So a nice job there to fight off an 0 2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. 
found himself down 0-2. Battles through these tough pitches right here and then gets to the fifth pitch. He never gave up, continued the fight, and what do you know, base hit on the fifth pitch. Stepping into the box, Cameron Ruff, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Runner aboarded first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. Another one sent foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Another payoff pitch. Liner towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. But the Phils have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. We played two, all even at one apiece. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Waiting on deck is Drubal Cabrera. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The shortstop number 13. Riding in once again as Dribble Cabrera, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. So make it two hits for him now on the night as this one finds its way into center. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball just a bit up. Come on, Lewis. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cabrera rounds the corner and is headed home. In to score as the runner from first. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job Off there. The yeah, you've got to find a way to right pick fielder. your teammates up Yoannis when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Joanna Cespedes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them.
Into the box now. Curtis Granderson hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the runner from second is in to score. Throw won't get him. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all now year batting. with runners Second in scoring baseman. position, and he Neil does it again Walker. here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. <laughs> Stepping in now, Neil Walker. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets lead it three to one. So digging in now, Jeremy Hellickson as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a soft liner. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. So with one gone, time for our look at the current standings. As you can see, these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point in the season. So striding forward now, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Towards second. And that is through into center field for a one out single. This is a pesky type of hitter pitchers hate to face. He's going to put the ball in play, not known Third for baseman, power, but seven. if you put it in the zone, Michael. he's probably going to make Michael. contact. Right there, another example of that. Digging in to try it again, Michael Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Pitches a cold strike to throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another one two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. From the belt kicks and deals grounded back up the middle and that's through into center field base hit Hernandez rounds third and is digging for the plate and that'll take the run from second as the lead shrinks to one at three two now here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera one in one out and one on here in the inning oh and two count here's the pitch tried to get him to chase the cutter there a ball and two strikes. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it well hey that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys and, and when that's the case they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Cespedes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting. Ready for Thanks another much. chance. Tommy, Tommy Joseph. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One and one here it comes. 
And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Just an absolute the right laser at that five. time. Screaming off the bat, Michael if you will. And show track Thunder. tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Standing in now, Michael Saunders. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Slice down the left side, but foul. Two men are on with two men out. Down the first baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Franco is on his way home. And that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. Whoa, those two out base hits. Those will kill the other team right there. He comes up with a big hit to tie this game. In now, Howie Kendrick. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Three innings complete. And we are all tied at three apiece. Digging in. Travis Darno reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Kendrick is there. One out. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And strike three called on the outside corner. He's earned the right to live out there with the fastballs as that's out number two. Well, that ball looked like it was a little in a pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box now, Robert Gesellman. In for strike two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with the third one. Three in a row. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Through three and a half, we're all even at three apiece. Riding in, Andres Blanco. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. And this is fouled back and out of play. 
the 0 2 once more. And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. Now in the box, Cameron Rupp comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he got him. Now batting, the pitcher. Jeremy. Stepping into the box, Hellickson. Jeremy Hellickson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 3 3 our score with a man on at first and one away. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. To Cabrera for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Ah, uh, he got now the bunt batting. down, but he didn't Second deaden it play. enough. Really good Thanks job off. by the first baseman and to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez fouled straight back. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to be a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Pulled toward right center field. Cespedes is after it. And that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Four innings in the books, tied 3-3. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Ready on 3 and 1. Here it comes. Tough one to lay off. Called a strike. Well, you definitely don't want to walk the leadoff hitter of the inning. And he's done a nice job of coming back. He was down 3 0. Now we're sitting 3 2. I think he's got the confidence now to throw another strike and see what happens. Blanco gloves it, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The shortstop, number 13. As Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, left fielder number third. Had a long way to go right to make that running catch, and here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it, showed nice closing speed, and ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Now this pitch sails up and in and that leaves him muttering to himself it's ball two. Boy that's a good pitch right there the old old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in see if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust that's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Yeah, and he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch now a foul tip held on to behind the plate nice work there to get the punch out and the inning is over down in order go the Mets halfway home tied at three. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. On its way is pitch number 75. Hit hard toward the right side. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. Around first, digging for two. And he will make it there with two bases to kick off the home fifth. So quickly into scoring position now here batting. following the opposite field Center double. Fielder. And as you see home there, he ball. currently tops Carrera. the Phillies in that department. Now 
Now to the plate, Odubel Herrera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Your Seth Lugo is going to take over now here in inning number match. five, so it'll be a bullpen game shot, from here on out. A runner at second, nobody out. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Conforto moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. First baseman, number 19. Digging in once again, Tommy, Tommy Joseph. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. As a look, now the pitch. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Cespedes has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. The right fielder, number five. Ready once again, Michael, Michael Saunders. Under. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Now batting. Left fielder. Here's Howie Kendrick. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Set to deliver on two and one. Down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Standing in now, Andres Blanco. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hit out towards second. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And he is going to beat the throw home as he scores to make this a 5 3 game now. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull the ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. In now, Cameron Rupp. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. At the plate, Jeremy Hellickson. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. One and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. We're through five here at the ballpark. Philadelphia is on top, five to three. Here's Juana Cespedes. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. The one and two pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Rupp is after it, and he makes the throw to first. Cespedes is retired, and there's one away. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And standing in now is the dangerous center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Lifted in the air to center. Herrera is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Second baseman. Here's Neil Walker. Neil a Walker. hit in two tries so far. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. 
Here's the one and one delivery. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Kendrick has it in his tracks. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Still a two run deficit. It's five to three. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Hernandez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. To short. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Well, that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside and Third shooting it the other way. Seven. You hear that terminology, Mike hands Cowell. inside the ball. Mike the only Cowell. way you're going to do that is to pull your hands in hard and stay inside the baseball. Nice piece of hitting. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Michael Franco, two for three with a double on his line so far. The 2 1 pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. To second for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Now batting. Center fielder. Odubel. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Five runs, 11 hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. First baseman, number 19, Tommy. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tommy Joseph. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready with two balls and a strike. Hit hard to short. He'll go the short way to Walker at second for the force, and that ends the inning. Billy strand one and it remains five to three. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Jim Mark Gomez is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. Career numbers against Jenmar Gomez. One for three. And he lays off for a ball two and one. Well that's a good pitch but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer you might get a swing. Change up called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Into the windup here comes the two two pitch. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Yeah well down two. you better believe they gladly take a lead off walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tight run to the plate. And oh strike three called as he gets a little help there one away. Leading off the inning your job is to get on base now and set batting. the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Into the box now T.J. Rivera in there and it's even now two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. In time to first, and there are two away. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Flores will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. 
And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is Ladies over. Down it's in order go the, the Mets. They're still down 5-3. Your Fernando Salas gets the call now from the pen to take York. over on the mound and Number start the 59. home seven. Fernando Salas. Michael Saunders will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. Flash you back to take another look at his solo home run to help get this offense rolling. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Bounce to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove, and the leadoff man is aboard. Into the box, Howie Kendrick line towards center field. Granderson has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Riding in once again, Andres Blanco. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Five runs, 11 hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. On to first, and there were two down. Digging in to try it again. Cameron Run. Over two with a walk for him so far. He's set. Here's the three and two. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Well, you don't see that very often. Two outs, the runner's going on the crack of the bat, but he hit it so hard, they had to hold the runner up. That's how good he hit that ball. Chris Coughlin will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number six, Chris Coughlin. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a liner. Foul. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Calling for it. Reyes. Oh, what happened there? It falls in. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Well, that's a now big base hit right there. And now you got a three run lead. You always play the beat, that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. Swing and a liner, but foul. Payoff pitch one more time. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera ranging into the outfield. And that ends the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Phillies on top, six to three. Your attention, please. Call to the bullpen the here is the hard-throwing right-hander Joaquin Benoit Joaquin gets the assignment. Benoit. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. Previous meetings with Joaquin Benoit, hitless in three at bats. Ready on one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. 
Well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, two for three with a double on his line so far. Nobody out, runner on first. Runners on the move for second. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. He went down on strikes last time up. Pickoff move to second. A dive, but he's back. He's set and the three and zero offering and he lays off there ball four so back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out and you can tell by his body I'll language that he's man. beyond frustrated right, by that other. call he's got to be wondering what he's got to do but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin that will only make things worse even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Don't let him score. Quick. Hey. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he gets him swinging. What a big out there as there is now one away. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Sean Burnett is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Curtis Granderson will be the first to meet him here and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed bases loaded and only one out now has to challenge him now here's the pitch and this is fouled at the plate bases are loaded here one man out and this is on the ground to first could be two there's one on the first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen one batter two outs and the inning is over just what the doctor ordered he gets the double play to get him out of the inning don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this digging in once again Michael Franco he's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. A little bouncer. He'll try it again, 3 and 2. Now here's a shot out to right center field. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. You still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon, usually. Now at the plate, Odubel Herrera. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. No one out with a runner at second. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. 
baseman number 19. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit surprised to see the bullpen inactive right now. Yeah, I'm with you, Matt. Even though he's pitching okay, I do think you have to look at what he's given you and realize he's probably approaching the end of his rope pretty soon. Last thing you want is for things to start to unravel and not have a guy ready that you can turn to. He's set. Here's the three and two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. He's set. And the one two pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another one two delivery. He got him. Lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Pat right, Meshack comes out of the bullpen now to shut things Philly. down here in the ninth. Number 17, Pat Meshack. Neil Walker will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Once again, a 3 2. Ripped on the ground to first. Joseph scoops it up, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. At the plate, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit deep down the left field line, but that'll be a loud foul ball. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And this is cut on and missed, so the Mets are down to their final strike now. Jeremy Hellickson in line for the victory here if our current score holds. Line softly toward the hole. Throw on to first to take care of him, and the Phillies will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. And tonight's comes to an end, six to three, the final. Jeremy Hellickson earned his ninth win of the year. Robert Kesselman was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Pat Nishak closes the door for the save, his 19th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Six runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Mets, three runs. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the right track at the wall. He got it! NCRT caught it on the wall. And the Braves have beaten the Mets. Incredible catch to save the game. And the Braves have stunned New York tonight.
They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch 